I'm Ari Martinez, aka Mars One. We just had our book signing at the SF MoMA for further our collaborative book. We started with the Four Words book around 2002, 2003, and it was me, Nomi, Damon Soul, and David Chung Lee. It was the four of us. And that's kind of the, the core group of us that started to kind of uh, work on these, you know, self-published books together. So that was kind of how it started. And then uh, several years later, we decided to do it again with uh, the second book, Convergence. So we let five years kind of go by and we did further. So it was the third, third book we've done so far. Uh, further as seven artists. There's um, Matsu, Robert Hargrave, and Oliver Vernon. The, the guys in the book, um, most of them I'm, I've been friends with for over a decade. And uh, it, some of the greatest guys I've ever known in my life, ever. This new one further, we have five years, five years of everyone's best work. We put in the book, and, you know, a big fat chunky book, weighs about four and a half pounds, so <laughs> can't carry too many of them around. The way the book was structured looks beautiful, but to be honest, it was, it was, it was pretty raw. We actually decided to do it a while ago, and I don't know, at some point, we we're like, okay, what's everyone doing? And then everyone had new work that, you know, all of a sudden and wanted to put new stuff in there. So it was kind of just this whole like, ah. The first gathering of images took place a few years ago. And many of us are, are working full time and producing a new series of work every half a year or so. So that, that batch kept getting updated and the newer work was more important and the old work gets left out. What we did was we just submitted what we thought was unique, what was different and new. You know, they're all, they're all coming from a, a similar point of view in that they, they view the world in the, in the same sort of complexity that I, I view it in. Um, because all of our work is, you know, it's pretty different but at the same time very symbiotic. I mean, sometimes I'll see something that Mars or Damon did and it's like, oh, that's, you know, that's really powerful and somehow it just kind of creeps into your work. And Naturally, we kind of like influence each other, of course, because we talk a lot about each other's art and critiquing each other, um, learning each other, influencing each other. For me, it's kind of just a strange thing to witness. I've never had that happen before where ideas just keep like mutating back and forth where you have an idea and you put it out there, somebody takes it, messes it around, you know, does their own twist on it and you sometimes didn't even realize it was you were the catalyst for that effect or you know that that element to take place on, on their um, <clears throat> in their body of work. So then you know of course it's back at you and you're doing some twist on it and things just move quicker and faster and uh, you don't get stuck in your own like little uh, you know track of your mind. Um, you know, a lot of it inspired by graffiti art, uh, surrealism, um, psychedelic art from the '60s, um, Art Nouveau. I mean, at this point in time, you know, it's just like you're influenced by so many things. You know, life is inspiration. You know, interact the way people interact. Uh, Everything, uh, evolutionary psychology, uh, patterns, behavior. You're my inspiration. Yeah, how's that feel? The San Francisco artists, they have a real uh, cohesive vibe, I think, that uh, Seattle has more of a, I don't know, maybe darker. It's a little bit darker as far as uh, content goes. Abstracted kind of surrealish imagery has a longer lifespan to you know go back to and interpret. In a lot of ways, at least for my work, it's about the kind of uh, abstract qualities of reality and the ambiguous nature of just how things are in general. And the mind automatically wants to categorize and understand everything, but there's gray areas, and I like to kind of explore the gray areas of. Um, kind of, uh, of reality or whatever that is.
the process of making the piece is the subject for me. I'm not going to, to portray anything. It's, uh, it's the engagement with the material, it's the mental gymnastics involved in, in getting through the stages of a painting, and it's about the problem solving that arises. Uh, it's about creating problems to be solved. Um, I, don't, I don't follow a step-by-step -step process from beginning to end. And that whole journey is, is what it's about for me. Basically, I was like straight, straight like figurative artist for a little while, kind of learning technique of old master and stuff. Same time, it's huge influence from street kids, like they're exploring their own style with graffiti, so much colorful images, and like amazing experience how young kid exploring their uh, uh, own style without any fear and, and any like limited and stuff so of course like huge inference coming one of the expressions that i have is most like mostly comes from my identity i was brought up in japan as well as i was brought up in the states and kind of the hybrid of the two makes who i am and i try to visualize that but also, I don't want to be too subjective in what I'm trying to do, so to be objective, I kind of brought something that exists in folklore art, which is to blend American aesthetic kind of meets the Japanese. This work, you know, it's interesting, it's vibrant, it, it says something, it, it's, it moves, you know, it, it has music in it, it has life in it, it has, you know, this club in it, 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 it has the streets in it, you know, it's, it's, it's alive. Friendship-wise, I'm trusting these guys, and uh, as far as artist-wise, also trusting. I feel like there's a, some kind of contribution I want to make to the art historical evolution in general, and to be on at the at that the front of that wave, it requires like constant looking forward. Before meeting this group, it felt like a very solitary journey. Um, but after connecting with this group, it feels like um, we have a little bit of a, a connected movement happening. Whether we're in contact or not, we, we're following each other's work and it's like there's a, a conversation going on amongst us, a visual conversation. And we're all part of this conversation, we're all making statements and rebuttals to each other. And, you know, our, our, our knowing each other is making us more powerful or more strong in our own work so it's extremely valuable to me in my personal life and my professional life to be connected to these good guys.